Hello, I'm Su Ying Luan. I'm a first year master's student at Western University with Dr. Peters. My research focuses on determining the effects of functional electrical stimulation cycling on cortical brain activation changes in people who have had a stroke. We will be measuring brain activity during three activities somatosensory stimulation, passive movement of the foot, and active movement of the foot. FES Cycling Therapy uses a special stationary bike that delivers electrical impulses to weakened muscles in the leg, shown by the picture on the left. This study will be focused on measuring brain activity with tasks involving the legs. This will help us establish the connection between brain activity and mobility. The device we'll be using to measure cortical brain activity is called functional near-infrared spectroscopy, which uses light to measure the amount of oxygen that the brain is using. The word somatosensory refers to sensory signals that are sent to the brain from anywhere on the body, such as pressure, pain, or temperature. Somatosensory stimulation in this study will be touching the bottom of the foot using a cotton ball. In addition, we will be measuring brain activation during movement of the foot in an up and down motion called plantar and dorsiflexion, as shown on the right. In a passive condition, we will move the patient's foot for them, and in active condition, patients will move their foot on their own. The reason I want to look at both active and passive movement of the foot is that there might be different brain activation patterns associated with the two types of movement, and we want to discover what that difference is. This study is still at its initial stage. However, we hypothesize that there will be cortical changes before and after the FES cycling program. We have done some preliminary research in the literature and found that this topic, especially somatosensory stimulation on lower body, is rarely talked about, which makes this research exciting. We can't wait to see how this study will turn out and share our findings in the future. Hi, my name is Arthur Koli. I'm also a first year's master's student at Western University and currently working with Dr. Peters. Like my colleagues' research, I'm also working with functional electrical cycling to study potential changes in cortical activation patterns in patients post-stroke. Approximately 50% of stroke survivors have trouble walking due to leg weakness and need to participate in functional rehabilitation. Walking can be limited due to reduced postural control, so a goal of rehabilitation includes training standing balance. And so my research will include two balance tasks. Task one is a double leg stance and task two is a tandem stance. The specific foot placements for participants is shown in the figure below. Participants would be asked to perform these tasks before FES training. During the tasks, patients would be wearing an FNIRS device that will be measuring changes in oxy and deoxygenated hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is a protein that delivers oxygen from your lungs to the rest of the body and FNIRs would be measuring these changes in the premotor cortex and the supplementary motor area. They will then participate in four weeks of FES training. After training, we would ask the participants to perform the two balance tasks again while wearing the FNIRs device. We would analyze the FNIRs data to determine if or how cortical activation changes after FNIRs, FES training. So to recap, this study aims to reveal the impact of FES cycling on cortical activation in patients post-stroke. We hypothesize that this intervention could improve standing balance and decrease fatigue in patients. Since cycling uses similar rhythmic patterns of lower limb motion as walking, FES training could potentially prove to be an effective addition to traditional treatment for patients that are unable to stand or walk. Successful rehabilitation could be categorized by the return of cortical activation near the lesion, and artificial stimulation through FES training may increase cortical activation for patients with stroke. So I just want to thank you for taking the time to listen to our ideas, and feel free to reach out with any questions or comments.